It is a hectic Sunday night and the case we got 9 games for you to offer. Let's not waste any time and get right to it. My name is Andrea Sachenko and you're watching Daily KHL Update. We take you to Russia's Far East first where Admiral take on Red Army. We go to Fetisov Arena for the action. The red and blue open score in middle of the first period. Artem Sergeyev puts the puck on net and a goal in of Maxim Sorkin. Soon after that, Damir Hamidoulin goes for his skate and tries to jam it in on the wraparound, but Adam Raderborn shuts the door. But the Sailors beat him shortly after that. Liber Shulak shoots from midpoint and finds the back of the net, 1-1 after 20. Red Army can run on a power play late in the second and it proves to be the game winner. Sergei Plotnikov is credited with the marker and the Virtus take two points on the road. 2-1 is your final. And now to Habarus, who are more welcome Dynamo Mensk. The Tigers strike meter through the opening period. Ruslan Pedanskos his first goal of the season. They double up early in the second. Alexander Shirov beats Sergei Bolshakov, while Beatrice Naharenko picks up his first point for Amor, and it comes against his former team. They put it away late in the third. Ivan Nikolishin scores his fourth goal of the season on a power play, and that's more than enough. Evgeny Alikin stops 32 shots for his second shutout of the year, and Amor take it 3 0 on home ice. Moving on to Siberia, where Sibir defend the ice against one of the top teams of the East Tractor. It's another low scoring affair. Nick Shore has a chance to put the host in the lead in the first, but he can't beat Raman Will. Alexei Kruchinin almost throws one past him early in the second, but Tractor Netminer makes another save. They finally break the ice late in the frame. Nick Schur converts in a power play while Kruchinin draws the only assist. Sibir had a security marker to their lead meter to the third. Alexander Sharov scores his seventh of the season and that'll do it. Harry Sattery stops 29 shots for his third shot out of the year and Sibir beat Tractor 2-0 on home ice. North Sultan Kazakhstan is our next stop. Boris do battle with Sarastal. The Virstus get on the board right before the first intermission. Adam Lishka scores his third goal of the season off assist by Nikita Goslistov. Second period now, Curtis Volk shoots from the hash marks and Misha Shugayev makes a great glove save. Sarastal make it a 2 0 hockey game meter for the second. Jakob Stenkvist tucks home the rebound. Adam Lishka has a chance to score his second of the night late in the frame, but Yoni Ordo stops him with this desperation effort. Boris got into the lead early in the third. Arkady Shostakov converts on the odd man rush. Mitchell Gurkov with a sweet saucer pass. But then Saristal secured the win as they score three in a row. Igor Guraskin makes captain Darren Deeds pay for the club's his own exit. Soon after that, Robert Roba sends it home on the odd man rush of a feed by Adam Lishka. And with less than two minutes remaining on the clock, Vladislav Kadala opens up for a diagonal pass and scores his sixth of the season. Sarastal wins their fourth game in a row. 5-1 is the final. Who fires our next stop and we're here for a blockbuster game between Salavati Life and Locomotive. The hosts get things going late in the first. Rip Bouchette takes the puck away and scores his fifth of the season. Loco doubles their lead just 38 seconds into the following period. Pavel Kraskovsky completes the great passing play. Maxim Sholanov and Artem Anisimov with the assists. Yaroslav will have a goal taken away from them after that. They determine after video review that the play was offside. Steal in the second, Pavel Kraskovsky passes it to Yegor Kashkov, but he's stone cold by Alexander Shurichenkov. Salavat get a goal back early in the third. Pavel Koldov scores against his former team, while Nikolai Kolomin draws the primary assist. Loka restores the two goal margin with just over four minutes remaining to play in regulation. Artur Kayumov beats Shurichenkov on a B way. 
but less than a minute later, Sergei Shmilov pulls Salava back to within one. The Lomen registers another assist on the play. And with 62 seconds on the clock, Team Hardikainen kind of scores on a power play with the extra man out. 3-3 and this one goes all the way to the shootout. Marcus Granlund and Sakari Manin and convert on their attempts and Salavat win the extra point. 4-3 is your final. We travel to Helsinki, Finland now where Jokerik meet Dynamo Riga and it's incredibly lopsided. Veli Matisavinainen opens up the score to less than 3 minutes in right after Dynamo kill off a penalty. Jordan Schroeder makes it a 2-0 hockey game just a few minutes later while Niklas Jensen and Brian O'Neill draw the helpers. Middle for the period, David Skladishka finds the back of the net with a shot from the high slot. Jokic improved their lead to 4-0 6 minutes into the second period. This time Tomek gives to wires at home. Less than a minute later, Schroeder scores his second of the night. This one comes in a power play. A little after that, he completes the hat-trick while Brian O'Neill registers yet another helper. Kyle Kostela extends the lead to 7 nothing right after that. That's his fourth goal of the season. And late in regulation, Jordan Schroeder nets his fourth goal of the night and eighth of the season. Definitely a night to remember for the American forward as Jokic blow past Dynamo 8 0 at home ice. And there's just a couple more scores left to tell you about. Torpedo beat Nefty Kimmich 6 3 on home ice. Myra Krivik scored 3 points, and rookie Maxim Fedotov got his first career KHL goal on this one. Vitas converted on two power play attempts out of three and beat Dynamo Moscow 5 2 on the road. And finally, four different players score for Spartak as they defeated Kunlun Red Star 4 2 on home ice. And that's it for the LKHL update, but do come back tomorrow for another game. Avantgarde will host SKA St. Petersburg. My name is Andrea Sachinka, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.